Hey champions, today we've got a bit of an interesting trigonometry problem. It's involving a dad and a daughter at the park. He's going to lift her up to the extreme position on the swing and we've got to find out how high the kid is off the ground once we get her up to that point. Probably the hardest thing here is figuring out what the information is actually showing us. So I'll go through this a little bit at a time. So first bit of information is that chains on the swing are 3.2 meters long, seat is uh, 0.5 meters off the ground when it's in the vertical position. Okay, so vertical position we take as being the swing literally in the, the straight up position, like the vertical position before it's been pulled in either direction. So in this diagram that I've prepared in advance, my chains here are 3.2 meters in length, height off the ground is 0 0.5 meters. Okay, that's piece of information number one. Piece of information number two is that when the swing is pulled as far back as possible, the chain is going to make an angle of 40 degrees with the vertical. Okay, this is why this might get a little bit messy, but I'll do my best. So that swing is going to be pulled up, let's say, to here. So now I've got the swing at this sort of high. My chains are going to be the same length. They're still 3.2 meters, but I'm going to be making an angle of 40 degrees with the vertical just there. And then the actual question that we have to answer, how high off the ground to the nearest centimeter is the seat when it's at this extreme position? Okay, so what we're looking at here, if we've, and if I can just do another diagram here, just to the side, what I'm going to do is just draw the chain to begin with. Chain is 0 0.5 meters off the ground, so between here and here. Now, the length of this chain here is 3.2 meters. So 3.2 meters is the length of the whole thing. But what we could do using our knowledge of trigonometry is find the distance between the bottom of this right angle triangle that I've created here and the top of the swing. I'm going to call that length X. So between, let's say, I don't know, here and here, that's going to be X. What that's going to leave us with between here and here that is going to be the difference between 3.2 and whatever we figure out x to be, which means the height off the ground of this brave little girl is going to be 0 0.5 uh, meters plus 3.2 uh, meters take away whatever we find x to be. Okay, so now it's turned into a pretty straightforward trigonometry problem. So I'm going to redraw my right angle triangle like this. I'm going to put in all the bits of information that I am either have or I'm interested in finding. I can do a better 40, I think, than that. Maybe slightly better. 40 degrees. I'm going to find x. I've got a hypotenuse length of 3.2 meters. If you still get in the hang of your side lengths and what, um, sorry, side names and what ratios to use. You could label them if you wanted to. So 3.2 is across from the right angle. That makes it the hypotenuse. X is next to the angle, which makes it the adjacent. So if I use my SOCOTOA acronym to figure out which ratio I want to use, I'm given the hypotenuse. I want to find what the adjacent is, which leaves cos as the ratio that's going to be good for us today. Okay. No, so that's step one. Step two is going to be to write my ratio down. So cosine of the angle is going to be equal to the ratio between the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Uh, now I'll substitute. So cosine of 40 degrees is going to be equal to x over 3.2. Now I'll do a little bit of rearranging. X is going to be equal to 3.2 multiplied by the value of cos 40, which, according to my trusty calculator, do I have the one on screen ready? I've used up all that space, and I don't think I have my... I can't remember where the cos button is on there. That's fine. So I'm going to do 3.2 multiplied by cos 40. Gives me 2.45. Now I'm just going to check what I'm rounding this to. So I'm going to the nearest centimeter, which means I need to go to the nearest hundredth of a meter for this one. So X is going to be 2.45 uh, meters. 
to two decimal places. Here's a good time to check your answer for reasonableness. Yeah, 40 degrees, we need our answer to be less than 3.2, 2.45. Makes sense, it's less, but it's not a million times less. That seems about right to me. Um, now using the diagram, I can start to uh, formulate my answer. Um, I'm gonna, because I really like the phrase extreme position, I'm going to say height at extreme. And I've already figured out that that's going to be 0 0.5. So that's the height that it already was above the ground. Uh, plus the length of the chain, 3.2, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Take away the, um, the difference between that and where it is at the top. So 2.45, which is going to give me, I'm not doing this in my head because it's 10 p.m. or so, 3.2 take 2.45, should give you 1.25 meters. Okay, and worded questions need a worded answer, ideally. So therefore, height at extreme is 1.25 meters. And if you're feeling extra fun you can give it a nice highlight like that okay so we just reviewed the skills that we use to answer this question we need to know a lot about trigonometry we need to know what ratios we need to use but once we've got the once we've got the actual ratios it's not too bad it's deciding what numbers go where and actually visualizing the situation that's quite tricky with this problem i hope that, that this helped with that problem goodbye <laughs>